What's up everybody? It's your boy. It's Elliot. Welcome back to another video. And as we enter a new year, it is a beautiful time to reflect and write down some of our New Year's resolutions. And if we look to our professor, Dr. Disrespect, he has a beautiful PowerPoint presentation breaking down everything for his New Year's resolutions. But before he does that, I want to go ahead and break down mine to you. I have three. First off, I want to drop 24, 25 pounds. I want to be a nice, solid 180, even maybe even drop to 175 during the summer to get nice and lean. Kind of look like Doug Center Martin over there doing pull-ups on stream. I'm going to go do some pull-ups real quick. Up pep talk. Okay, you guys come on, fist bump. Look at me right now. Um, I don't know where to play. I might play mid-ruins if I have a shake cross here. This is, hey, what are you doing, button? Doug? Doug, what are you doing? Dude, shut your mouth. Dude, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Fucking moaning into my ear. I'll slap the shit out of you. Okay. <laughs> that feels good. I feel good now. Let's go. The second one, I would love for this YouTube channel to get monetized. It doesn't have to be a lot, but I want to get to the spot where I at least qualify for a monetization on my YouTube channel and see where that really leads and, and takes me. The third one, it's kind of more mental. It's kind of one that you can't really write down on paper. But it's when you're having conversations with yourself, not beating yourself up too much and not allowing yourself to feel too high or too low and just kind of allowing things to happen and being really present in the moment. Going back to the more interesting individual here, we're going to talk about Dr. Disrespect, truly the most interesting man in the world. I'm going to throw up his 2022 resolution so we could read it together. He's looking for $100 million raised for Midnight Society. Midnight Society is his AAA gaming studio. Then he wants to start a bourbon business because... The man is a man of culture. I told you he's the most interesting man in the world. He wants to release a music album because it's Dr. Disrespect. Why not? And then lastly, DotCon 2022. I love this idea of Dr. Disrespect having his own convention because the man, like, bring us to the arena. I want to see the arena. It's 50 million strong. And then if you look at the very, very bottom highlighted, unbanned and massive payment in freaking purple. So... Is Dr. Disrespect getting unbanned from Twitch? Is he getting a massive payout? Let's find out. You know, there's not too many streamers that have done as much as Dr. Disrespect in the world of gaming and esports. It's just being a personality that people all across the board love. And truthfully, at the beginning of me getting into gaming and into the streaming and esports scene, I did not care for Dr. Disrespect and some of his, his persona. But as I watched his videos, as I... As I saw him interact with other people, the more and more I opened up to him and realized there's not too many people who put in the production on a day-to-day -day stream like he does. And who have not only just the idea of streaming, but the idea of actual game development and game design like Dr. Disrespect. When you have people like Hex bragging on you, saying stuff in his podcast to trip you one of the Halo guys about, you know, when Forge comes out for Halo... You're going to have guys like Dr. Disrespect who genuinely believe that they could put a map together that the competitive players not only want to play on, but are going to get used in competitive play. And if that happens, what does Halo do? Do they, do they pay Dr. Disrespect a little bit of money? Personally, I think they should give him a skin and allow him to get a kickback of that skin, especially if he like live streams it and makes it a whole production. I mean, I'll let Hex speak for himself, and you can see even Trippy's response. Yeah, like for Dr. Disrespect, for example. Yeah. Like, he, he's, like, really, really looking forward to Forge coming out because yeah. he knows deep in his heart that he can create a map that will be used in Halo Competitive. Like, really? deep in his heart, he, he just believes deep in that. his heart, he's like, I'm going to create a game, a, a map that will be played competitively in Halo. Mm -hmm. Now, what happens in, 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 a, in a situation like that? Does, does Halo pay him to use his invention or is it halo's invention because it's halo's well, he's tools technically using halo's tools that's what i'm saying so he wouldn't i don't think he'd get paid for that no but should he though if he took if he took no if he took the time to do it and he was like maybe live streaming it making it like a whole cool thing yeah i think yeah that'd be cool yeah right that'd be dope I think so too. Or maybe give him a skin in the game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Something. Yeah, something. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think. What should Doc do going forward? Is he with his Midnight Society, within Halo and Forge? God, it's, it's a beautiful time. It's 2022. I'm feeling 22. Let me know down below your New Year's resolutions, and I'll see you guys in the next one.